These days, nobody is enjoying more success in the world of curling than Kevin Martin. He's a big game player. We know, you know, we always know that in a spiel like a Canada Cup or a Grand Slam or the Briar, the big events, he comes to play. And together with Ben Hebert, Mark Kennedy, and John Morris, Team Martin has become virtually unbeatable. Something the skip attributes to hard work. They work extremely hard. As, as a group, we work hard all summer and then all winter, and, and uh, there's no off button with this group, and uh, that's a pretty special team. There's not many teams like that that uh, just go, this is year six for us, and there's been no, uh, no slowdown yet. And there's been no slowdown from Martin either, who each summer organizes the Kevin Martin Curling Academy. We have uh, 48 kids in two camps, and that's, that's all we accept. And uh, uh, we have a lot of great instructors, and it's, it's a pretty... Uh, um, it's a tough one. We tire the kids out and uh, we don't take real young, not real young kids, it's, it's more of the intermediate to advanced uh, juniors that we take and, uh, and it, it's, uh, it's really fun. I love it. It does a lot for the game of curling, that's for sure. He's uh, changed it in a lot of, a lot of positive ways and uh, he's a you know, good old fashioned redneck at heart and, and uh, just a, a good guy. And now following their thrilling Olympic gold medal championship in Vancouver, Team Martin has Sochi in their sights as they once again focus on Olympic gold. We loved playing in Vancouver. It was a chance of a life, lifetime and uh, such a great feeling to wear that Maple Leaf and, uh, at the Olympics. And uh, you know, once you get there once, it, you get that itch to get back there again. So we'll be, uh, we'll be gunning for 2014, that's for sure. It's just so much fun, you know, and uh, I'm really lucky to be at three Olympics and I'd love to be at a fourth one. And, but this will be the last kick at the cap. I don't screw the guys up if you play one more year after the Olympics. But then after that, they have to qualify for the next one. And then I've got a exit stage left. Which will bring the curtain down on one of the greatest curling careers of all time. Blaine Evans, Shaw TV, Cranbrook.